Here is the difference before and after applying these settings, which I will show you today. Optimizing your game and system settings can make a world of difference. In this Ultimate CS2 optimization guide, we'll walk you through the best tweaks to boost performance, eliminate lag, and achieve the smoothest gameplay possible. Whether you're aiming for higher FPS or just a more responsive experience, these changes will help you get the most out of your system. Stay tuned, let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step, we will adjust the Steam settings to improve our CS2 performance, open Steam settings, and navigate to friends and chat. Disable the Steam avatar animations. Then go to the interface tab and set the library as your startup location. Turn off scale text and icons, turn off as which account, disable smooth scrolling, disable GPU acceleration, and disable hardware video decoding. Also, turn off notifications about additional changes. In the library tab, enable the three recommended options. In the remote play tab, disable remote play, Next, go to the Broadcast tab and turn off Broadcasting. Then, exit Steam settings. Now, go to your Steam library, right-click on Counter-Strike 2 and open Properties. The only launch option recommended by ESA is Threads. If you have 8 cores, add 1 to this number, making it want Threads 9 in this case. Then go to the Controller tab and disable Steam input. Let's move on to two simple yet highly effective settings that can significantly enhance your gameplay experience. Open the Windows search bar, type Turn Windows Features On or Off, and select it. Locate Virtual Machine Platform, uncheck it, click OK, and restart your PC. Next, disable Hyper-V, a Windows virtualization feature that can slow down performance. Follow the same steps, locate Hyper-V, uncheck it, click OK, and restart your PC. These tweaks free up system resources, improve FPS, and enhance your gaming experience. Apply the changes and see the difference. One common mistake that causes FPS drops and stuttering in Counter-Strike 2 is not setting your power plan to high performance. Windows manages power usage through different power plans, and the wrong setting can limit your PC's capabilities. To fix this, go to your Start menu and search for Choose a Power Plan. Open it, and you will see three options. Power Saver, Balanced, and High Performance. Power Saver significantly limits your hardware to conserve energy, which is terrible for gaming. The Balanced plan adjusts power usage based on tasks, but it's not optimized for performance. To get the best FPS in CS2, select the High Performance Power Plan. This plan allows your hardware to run at its full potential whenever needed. Next, click on Change Plan Settings next to the High Performance Plan and then select Change Advanced Power Settings. This will open the Advanced Settings window where you can adjust more detailed settings to ensure your system is optimized for maximum performance. In the Advanced Settings window, first, expand the Hard Disk section and set Turn Off. Hard Disk After to Zero. This prevents the hard disk from shutting down, which can improve system responsiveness during gaming. After that, expand Processor Power Management and set both Minimum Processor State and maximum processor state to 100%. This ensures that your CPU runs at its full power without scaling down its performance, which helps in maintaining better performance while gaming. Now guys, download the CS2 Ultimate FPS Boost Pack from my official website. After downloading, extract it to your desktop and open the folder. Inside the main folder, you'll find several subfolders. First, open the registry folder. Inside this folder, you'll see multiple registry files. Install them one by one. Once you've finished installing all the registry files, go back to the main folder and open the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. In this folder, you'll find registry files that control how your CPU interacts with Counter-Strike 2. If you have a low-end PC, use the normal priority registry file. If your PC is mid-range, use the medium priority option. If you have a high-end PC, use the high priority option. This will optimize your CPU's performance for CS2 based on your system's capabilities. 
Next, open the program called Run With Affinity. This tool helps optimize your CPU usage for better performance in Counter-Strike 2. Many players don't fully utilize their CPU threads while gaming, but this program ensures CS2 runs as efficiently as possible. To begin, click on Select Program, then hit the three dots. Navigate to your Steam folder, open Steam Apps, then go to Common and find Counter-Strike 2. Inside this folder, go to Game, Bin, Win64, and locate the main CS2 executable file named cs2.exe. Double-click it to select the file. Once selected, go to the Processor section where your selected affinity is displayed. By default, it should show the maximum number of CPU threads, but if it doesn't, manually select the highest available number for CS2. For example, if your CPU has 16 threads, choose 16 to maximize performance. After setting the thread count, create a shortcut on your desktop. You can name the shortcut however you like and save it in your preferred location. When finished, click Create Shortcut. Once you've completed these steps, you can close the program. Now we will use the ShutUp10 application to enhance privacy and security settings in Windows. There is no need to install the software, simply double click to open it. Upon launching the application, you'll notice that some options are already enabled by default. These are the app's recommended settings, but you have the flexibility to disable them if desired. If you have used this application before, it will notify you of any previously made changes, allowing you to either accept or revert them. Keep in mind that certain Windows updates may reset these settings, so it's advisable to review them after updating your system. ShutUp10 is divided into two main tabs, Current User and Local Machine. The Current User tab contains settings related to privacy, activity history, clipboard settings, app permissions, Microsoft Edge privacy options, Windows synchronization features, Cortana for Windows 10 users, Windows Copilot, user behavior tracking, file explorer settings, lock screen configurations, search preferences, taskbar settings, and other miscellaneous system options. The local machine tab includes similar options, but also provides additional security settings and Windows update configurations. Before making any modifications, you have the option to export your current settings for backup or to transfer them to another computer. Once you are ready, you can apply different levels of recommended settings. Green, fully recommended settings that are safe to apply. Yellow, includes both recommended and moderately suggested settings. Or, all settings applies every available setting in the app. Additionally, you can undo all changes or create a system restore point, which is highly recommended before making adjustments. Once you've applied the recommended settings, simply close the application. Now let's optimize your GPU settings to maximize performance and boost FPS in Counter-Strike 2. Open the NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Radeon settings and navigate to Manage 3D Settings. Set Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance to ensure your GPU operates at its full potential instead of reducing performance to save power. Next, locate Texture Filtering Quality and switch it to High Performance to prioritize speed over visual quality, reducing the processing load on your GPU. Next, launch Counter-Strike 2, where I'll show you the best in-game settings. In the Settings menu, ensure your refresh rate is set to the highest available for your monitor. Now adjust the advanced video settings according to ESA's recommendations. Be sure to copy these settings. Regarding shadows, they offer a significant advantage in CS2. However, if you don't care about them, set them to low, sun only. Otherwise, I highly recommend keeping them at high and all. For NVIDIA Reflex, low latency, disable it if your PC is low end. Enable it if you have a good CPU and GPU. Enable plus boost if your CPU is weak, but your GPU is strong. Now, go to Game Settings. Under Buffering to smooth over packet loss, Futcher, a Valve employee, suggests setting it to None unless you're experiencing stuttering or packet loss. One packet should resolve most issues, while two is only necessary for extreme cases. Scroll down and find the option for Animated Avatars. Set this to No. Now click Apply and restart the game. So guys, that was today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. See you in the next one. Bye.